Hello, welcome back to another vlog here at Adventure Times. Today we're here at Legoland to try out their Brick Day event, their half-term event. Yeah. It's, got, it's always one of my favourites because it's like, come on, let's see what's good for the season. And it's like see what's new. So, we popped into your services to pick up the event guide. Uh, again, it shows you everything that you need to know about the event. It's like a few pages long. Give you a map. Um, the one thing I will point out is, of course, like all the brick days, is you've got your go to the brick and create a Lego piece to get your exclusive pop badge. And also, while I was in uh, guest services, I asked if there was any new pop badges. Apparently, I'm only given these ones. So, we've got one to keep and one to swap. Yeah. Uh, there you go, and we'll also bring you an update of uh, Minifigure Speedway. Because there's been and exciting developments with that. At the end of the vlog, you might see some of the lodges updates. So if you don't know what we're talking about with the lodges, one, where have you been? And two, here on the back, it's the new accommodation opening in May. Come on, you all know where we go in first. It's an Adventure Time vlog, it has to be this shop. Some new hats by the looks of it in the shop. Never too early to buy a Christmas jumper, is it? And it's just 25 quid. Seen that one before the Orient Express. That might be new. Here we go, here's our first update. Legoland Fortnite. The adventure begins on the ultimate survival crafting Lego adventure in Fortnite. Why is it Haley? Lama Lama Pinata. Just reading through the event guide and just noticed there's a new 4D show at the 4D theatre. Friends Alien Invasion. There you go. Obviously, we haven't been back to Legoland since Christmas 23. So, yes, yeah, first time we've stepped inside the park this year. And uh, when we last came, the slides that we've just been past, they goes down into Miniland. They were shut at the Christmas event, but they're, not, they're now back open. But, yeah, it's a good selection of rides. I think there's about 30 rides open. I think there's only a few that are shut, which are the water rides. Uh, it looks like the, uh, not Sky Ride, what do they call the... I don't always forget. Yeah, the ride that takes you around when you know, basically. That's always hit and miss though. Yeah, but I don't think that's open this for this event. But yeah, it's got good good selection of rides open. And of course you can't go can't go wrong with Mini Land. Here's a quick look at the what's on ride. Sky Rider, that's the ride we were on about that is shut for this event. Here we go as so we're just walking down past the Sky Rider. We can now see there's the station building for minifigure Lego Land. And we can also now see the world's tallest minifigure, apparently. Obviously this bit that uh, you see in front of me, this is like the boomerang bit, so you'll come, I believe anyway, you'll come out the station, you'll go up the lift hill, and then you'll get released back round and then you'll do the rest of the rest of the coaster layout. Obviously there's theming still to go in there, but yeah, that there is the world's largest minifigure. Like, especially if you follow the road track, you're obviously going to go up like the lift hill at the back. It's going to launch you through the station, through this first, I want to call it a helix, I don't know if it's uphill helix. Over to the other side, possibly another helix, round, and then probably back into the station, I'm guessing. So yeah, a couple of helixes, I think. Don't quote me on that layout. But yeah, it looks quite interesting. It's quite high as well, that is a high point up there. The highest point of it. Looking forward to it, Hayley. Hi, I'm in. Mm -hmm. 
come to the break you have to build a model, show it off and then you get a pop badge. So here's mine, it's a uh, flying Formula One car, as you do. Hades Wilden Little Garden. Yeah, hopefully two pop badges. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's a look at Hades. And what, was, what have you built Hades? It's like a little botanical greenhouse garden. I would continue to go up but I think Chris is getting bored so. Yes. There we go. Hayley's happy. We're both like, oh, pop badge. Yeah, we've got a pop badge just by uh, building uh, building a model and you have to show the guy and then he gives you a pop badge. Yeah, so now we have two to give, two to train. Nice. Fairy tale brook in the background that's currently shut, which I presume will be shut for the whole of the event. Very... It's shut for break week, yeah. Yeah, shut for break week. We just want to do a bit about yeah. ride access. So. The system, it looks like it's still the same as it was at the end, towards the end of last season where once you, when you go to log in, it will ask you how many ride access users you have. So we, for us, it's one. And then how many people are accompanying you on today's trip. So you hit one or however many, um, and then you hit redeem. So then we go over to the app. The one thing we have noticed is that it seems to have updated, but Flight of the Lion. Skyline. The Flight of the Skyline. Now, you don't have to do a slot. It is just if it's available, you can pre book. If it's not, bad ba example though. Basically, yeah, it's full. It's obviously busy there at the minute. But basically, uh, it's obviously the same as the rest of the rides where if the queue isn't. Yeah, no, you don't have to pre book a slot. You just say if, it, if, it, the if it's available. Open, yeah. Then you can just do book now as the rest of the system. Yeah, it's basically. Which I think is good. It's about time they got to do that. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's nowhere near as bad as uh, Mandrill, that's for sure. But no. it's. But it's, I mean, today all the rides are on 10 minutes anyway. Yes, yeah. It's okay. Not really here to do rides today, no, we're just here to get soak in the atmosphere, see what new, what's new in Legoland, and uh, yeah, maybe go on a few rides. <laughs> Don't, we just but take your trip. I'm wondering though, with the new changes being announced to ride access this year, whether you're actually going to have to pre book for Legoland in Chessington because. You have to log into the system anyway, and you have to put how many people well, are coming anyway. In my eyes, how would that? How would they be able to police that? Because well, they can't know. give out the like for yourself. You just log onto the system when you're here, and well, you. I guess from the second of March, we will be able to find out, won't we? Yes. So we will keep you updated here on Adventures of Time. In one of the saddest updates, I think we have to bring you, isn't it, Ailey? Well, it is and it isn't because I don't like the deep sea adventure overlay. So it says, "Stay tuned for more exciting underwater adventures in the future." Now, I hope to God that this overlay is going because it's shut for the entire season, which means it's not just. I hate to a say, small little maintenance thing. I hate to say, I don't think it's the overlay that's going. I would imagine it's the theming inside the tank, because some of that theming was very old and looking a bit dated in yeah, places. Yeah, but it was added to the Atlantis feel. Mm, yes, I know, but you need update every now and again. You no, need change. No, take change. It back. Take change it back. is good. Take it back. Change is good. No. There's a reason it's still Atlantis in other Lego lands, and I suggest Merlin put it back. There you go. You heard it here first, Lego land. Hayley's not happy with Deep Sea Avenger. Obviously, I don't want to beef with Merlin, but it was better at land. But purely because I feel like if you're going to explore, you're exploring under the sea to look for Atlantis. So. Love to see like a fountain show. But yeah, Hayley's just saying, love to stay at the, uh, one day, I, I can't see it being worth the three to four hundred pound price tag. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. feels we, look cool, but one day we will bring you a review of the hotel. But yeah, but we the have one to. One thing that I never understand is when these hotels say, "Oh, well, if you book with us, you can get like one Lego set per child." Well, what about the adults? Yeah, we're all big children we like at the heart. the little three and one sets or the little twelve ninety nine sets. We do. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> Look at the carp. Too 
managed to get a time slot for probably the best ride, to, in our opinion, here like for Skyline. The, uh, wow, it is unique. The Flying Theatre, the only one in the UK, I believe. I might be wrong. So we actually were able to book a slot on the flight, the Skyline, and we were seeing bottom left. Um, it made you feel a little bit queasy, didn't you, actually? Yeah. Well, flying the Skyline normally makes you feel a little bit sick, but sitting where we sat today. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, where we sat, we got soaked. Yeah, we did actually. Yeah, all the water effects. Yeah, all the effects were working. Screens fixed. There's no mark on the screen anymore. Yeah, it was other than that. It was okay. I actually quite enjoyed it. Here's a look at Heart Lake City with all the water out. Yeah, they're obviously doing some work on the lighthouse. I would imagine just some repainting, some normal maintenance, winter maintenance. And yeah, there's this there's big pit there, which is where. In the summer, you'll see the pirate show, and they'll actually dive off the top of the lighthouse into the water. It but doesn't yeah. actually look very deep in terms of to dive into. No, it, but it? what you need to remember is the water comes all the way up to like the top of oh, yeah, the over there. Yeah. So that is that's about well, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe five yeah. feet deep, maybe. Yeah. I mean, this is all big enough to obviously have speedboats going around it, so really fascinating actually to see it without any water unless of course they're changing it for this year never know okay don't quote me on this but i'm pretty sure that's a new shop name campus shop i don't know might be wrong but that looks like a new sign at least but more importantly more importantly that is a shop that is a shop and it would be rude not to go in a shop found a new donut hub just in the outskirts of Heart Lake City. And Hayley's also very happy. I call it a work. So, what, so explain about like the pop badge. So here at Legoland, you can ask staff if they're willing to swap with you, but they don't have to swap. So please don't get asked with them if they don't. A guy walked past us and I asked if he would be willing to swap. And the two that I had to swap, he didn't have any of them. So he swapped with me for two of the new ones. Nice. So we've got the Valentine's Day glittery um, dragon. Yep. And we've got the I stayed at Legoland. I didn't, but. Nice. So we've got four new pop badges from Legoland today. Happy days. And I've got no more left to swap. So in the bag, they go. And <laughs> Aero Nomad still going through its winter maintenance at the minute. But yeah, that's expected to reopen at the start of the season in 2024. Pirate Falls is still out for winter maintenance. Yeah, you get a good, good view. Now you can water in the troughs. Okay. Again, I'm expecting that bit to be back open at the start of the season in about a month's time. There you go, here's the rapids update. As you can see, Stephen is still there and there's even water in the troughs. Probably one of the last few remaining signs from the old safari park, I'm going to guess. I don't know. If anybody wants to let me know the history of that sign, then comment down below. So in the other overflow car park, um, you've still got some bits for the um, lodges that they're building. Yeah, they still see a rooftop and some wood over the far side. There's half a lodge there that they're still building, but yeah, I think it's, it's May by the time they open. You can book them already. So if you haven't already, book your stay in a lodge. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get to stay there one day. We haven't stayed in any Legoland hotels yet, so the lodges look very fancy. Yeah, we'd just like to give you a brief update as we walk around. Obviously, yeah, uh, still see some on the car park. And there's two lodges sitting there, but yeah, here's a look at the lodges bit more than they've done obviously the last time we came down was December time I think it was lift you over the bait there we go it's 
Now, don't quote me on this, but this building here, I'd say is like the main hub, probably where a bar might go. Some live entertainment, maybe a reception. Just like to point those out as well, we've got new grass, new grass, new tarmac, new painted lines and new tarmac car park. That wraps up the day here at Legoland Windsor for their brick, brick week. Yes. Brick week for the heart, February half term event. I, it was okay. It wasn't, I'd say the, the other video that we done for Morton Towers, um, Pirate Takeover was a better event, smaller event, not as many rides open at Morton Towers, but I don't know, just felt a better event than, than Legoland's personally. I think Legoland's though isn't really an event as such is it it's just like a no we, we're open but it's not like it's a there's not really many special things other than in uh the brick you can uh make a make something out of lego and get a pop badge um we didn't see any shows there was no evidence of any shows i didn't even see a stage um, well, in the thing it said there were some shows, but we were walking around and we didn't catch one. We didn't catch any shows, no announcements to say any shows. So yeah, but other than that, it was okay. You know, it's good if you want to get out with the family this February half term. I would highly recommend getting out to Legoland and, you know, yeah. getting on some rides. I'm disappointed though, because the Lego set that I was going to buy this morning was sold out by the time mm. we went to buy it. Top tip, I think. Don't know why. Because it's not a popular kit, but there you go, I guess it is all of a sudden. Top tip, if you want to get your Lego, get there early. Buy it early, I think is the answer. <laughs> I know, she blames me for that. But anyway, with that, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye!